welcome back to Mitford Pottery. Uh, this video is a special start to finish build so we're going to throw it, glaze it, fire it all on the same video so in real time it'll take a while but I've cleaned my hat because this is dedicated the whole video to Harry and it will all become apparent at the end of the video which in real time takes weeks I'll try and keep it concise so we're going to make Harry his own coffee slash chocolate mug mug so we'll get to the wheel like so uh, we need a bit of light on the matter, that's it. Now, I thought, can't just make an ordinary mug. So what we have, especially made for this, is some agate ware. So it's marbled clay. So this is white, blue, it was supposed to be purple, but it looks like it's come out a very, it'd be like a lilac colour. So that is going to be our nice tall mug. Uh, weight wise, for all those that's interested, I think it's about 500, our normal sort of mug weight that we use, 500 grams. Yeah, 510. So it's going to be a tall agate ware cup. Now, as you can see, you got them marbling. Now, I think I'll probably go. You never know till we start to scrape it back. It'll come. It'll become more apparent as we finish this throne stage off. So that's our clear. And now it is just as we always throw it. With one slight difference. Normally uh, we would co we could cone up two or three times. We want to do that as little as possible because the more we do that, the more we mix the colours together. We want to keep them as separate as we possibly can. Now the outside will become covered in slip so we lose the grain for a little while and this clay is usually tricky to throw with because the colourant we've added I'll have to move my microphone so you can hear us where's my microphone gone where's my microphone gone it found it right yes yeah, so it, the colorant dries you clay out when you're throwing it so we're just going to corner it up you can feel that the colored bits dry under your hands as yet as the clay gets worked Right, so we'll centre it as quickly as we possibly can. Like that. Right, we're centred. We're going to break in. Like so. And then we're going to open it out. So 
So we're compacting the base. Bend it in. One of the other drawbacks of using coloured clear, everything takes on your colour. So if you want to change colours, it's a big a bit of a big cleanup operation. Right, so we'll slow our wheel now. So we're going to do our first lift. Which is just a, a short lift, so we'll compact the top. As you can see, you can see the grain as you as you work the clay and see the grain exposed on occasion. Right, so we'll slow again. Water inside and out. So we nip the clay. And lift it up. Compact that top. And we have our mirror today, so we keep an eye on the shape. Right, go again. So we'll push in, push out, grab that clear. And I lift it. Been a while since I've done uh, agate well, but uh, I forgot it's is a tricky little thing to throw with. So our, our edge is just starting to go wobbly. Now we're done for height, get a little bit higher. We'll get this clear from the bottom. Good height. Now we'll do one more. Slow wheel again. Do one more just to grab this clear right of the base. So this is more of a, a shape than a lift. That's pretty good. Right, so now I want to start cleaning up. So we'll get our water out the way down here. We'll sponge on a stick, we'll get the inside. Like that. Now, let's see, I'm a bit clumsy, so I usually end up knocking things, catching things with my nails. So we'll do that. So that top. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna trim the base here. So that's just where our little stick, and that. We're going to start there and we're going to trim that all the way down to the wheel. Like that. We need a pin tool. And then we're just going to run that pin 
across like that and that loosens that bit of clear from the bat or the wheel head and we cut that now what I'm going to do I'm going to keep that bit to one side so that will be a thumb rest when we come to put a handle on it now I'll, uh, I'll just rinse my hands and we'll, we'll move the camera just so you can get a profile view and hopefully I don't destroy everything on the shelf as I do this which I tend to do I'll tell you what, I have to get this fella out of here got camera things everywhere that's easier right so we'll move the camera like so so there's our profile of it so what we're going to do now we're going to expose the grain here so I might reposition the camera so we can get a, a better view so by the magic of editing I'll be back in a second right we're back so we got this now we have to scrape it back and the way we do that metal rib wetted hand on the inside get our wheel going nice and slow and while we do this we're looking at the final shape as well so I'm just going to keep this as straight as I can I'm going to push gently against the rib and you might be able to see it better than I can as the grain appears on the side like so look at that, that's come out pretty good that that's a good mix because it's a it really is potluck when you mix your clear how well your grain comes out right now what we do want to do now we just want to finish this stage off we want to fine tune it now I can see down here there's a bit I'm not happy with just here it goes in a little bit I'm just going to wet my hand, so just this bit right at the bottom I'm just going to push it out a bit Go all the way at the top just to finish our shape Check it in the mirror, that's better Happier with that. So that's our finished pot. Just about anyway, the thrown stage. We're just going to finish this top edge. So we use our chamois leather. And this smooths our top edge off and also rounds it off a bit as well. So that's that bit. And then all we need to do, do a little undercut. Which just helps the wire get underneath. Get the water out the inside. Like that. And there is the throw. The throwing bit done. I'll dry my hands. So we'll stop that, we'll wire that off. So our twisted wire, as slow as it'll go. Ooh, that's come off. Get that wire out of the way. 
that shows you how dry that clay is. That's just, that's came off straight away. So the bottom will be trimmed slightly to make it nice. And what we will do, so we can move it about, we get a little bit of wood. And we put it on there and we'll try to touch it as little as possible. So there you go. So we'll go back to me for a minute. So, get the camera right, so there's stage one, throw, agate wear, blue, white, lilac mug. We're going to let that dry and we're going to trim it in the next stage of this start to finish video. So by again, by the magic of editing, some time will have passed. But we'll be attaching a handle, trimming, attaching a handle, and then it's down to the kiln gods. So, see you in a second. Bye for now. Next part of the cup. So, we have our thrown cup. Going to trim it, put a handle on it. So not a lot to do with the trimming, it's going to be quite basic. We're going to smooth this base off and make a nice chamfer on the edge. Should put my glasses on so I'm there on day. That's the base trimmed. Make sure it sits nice, which it does. And now, we will uh, move these out of the way. Go, sponge. Now we're going to do handle. So that's where I want our handle to go. Gonna have we'll have this this hand pulled handle. So I'm just gonna prepare this. Cut the end off. And we're just gonna splay the end out. By topping it, gives us a little bit of clear to attach. Then I want to screw 
go with that as well. Now what I'm going to attempt to do is sort of pre pre cut it. So I'm going to go about there. Lovely. Now we need our slip. Now this is the bit with agate wear where it's um, try not to get it all over the place so you hide your grain. So I need my little brush, put some water on it. Slip on there. Slip on there. See them on our handle. Here we go. So And that's it for that stage. So now get rid of excess slip. Then, very gently, the pin tool. I'm not using the metal, I'm using that wooden one.
And there's our handle attached. Make sure it's straight. And the other two bits to go on here. Which we've been keeping them damp. We got our maker's mark, which is a little sprig. So on that like that, and then we've got where we're going to put it. Last thing for this cup is my no, which I'm trying to make my thing, unless asked not to, it's a thumb rest. So this is a marbled thumb rest. To match. Apply some pressure, make sure everything's all right. Got a little sponge. the excess off So that's the next stage of the mug. So that will be dried nice and slow. Hopefully I don't get my monkey hands over everything, which I have already. Ok, 
keep it nice and clean. So that will be dried slowly. Next stage, bisque and glaze. So see you next time when this we'll run through how we're going to fire it so see you in a few hello it is bisque time so we've got some of our new stuff in and we knew I get where and for this video we got our special our very special blue agate wear cup for Harry which is going in just there if I can get the camera right not making you uh, feel sick so there's that there and if I can do this like that Close the lid and say bye bye. That's it. So, next time we say that will be about 12 hours tomorrow. So, we'll have an update then. So, until then, see you later. Right, the kiln has finished. So, this is the bisque firing. So not, it's not going to be uh, shiny glazes yet. So we'll open up. Never looked yet, so here we go. And there is your cup. So it survived the bisque. So now it's glaze time, so see in a few seconds and we will apply some glaze. Bye. Well, update on Harry's mug. So it's all been glazed. So there we are. So it's going to be blue inside, clear outside. Hopefully it's clear enough. To see the swirly pattern underneath. So it's going just down here. So if you bear with me, get the camera in place. So there you go. So it's going in the kiln. Just over here. Next to all it's for little friends. So that's it. So in there. We will see in about, uh, about 48 hours after it's been cooked. So, fingers crossed, pray at the kiln gods and update shortly. Bye for now. Well, the kiln has finished firing. So, hurry, this is where your cup comes out. Fingers crossed. Uh, I'll put the camera down here so we can see just as they come out. Don't know what it's going to be like, so as you can see, it's got a shelf in here, so I, and it's under there. So excuse me while I get this shelf out of the way, and I'll just nip in front of the camera. And if you remember on the video was over here so I'm going to reach in and get the cup out so there it is so this is a blue and white agate ware with a blue liner glaze on the inside and there is your very own Mitford pottery cup all nice and as a, I'll just move the camera up, as a special treat, I've been on to YouTube and they give us a, a special license, so, so you don't have to wait for your cup, they said, 
if you pass it through the shot will do some magic so enjoy give it a second and you'll be able to see your cup uh, well I hope you've enjoyed the the start to finish video and again thank you Harry for watching and see you in another video very soon and remember clear is the way bye for now